Janathan, Aadhaar and mobile. And this jam technology is going to really jam us. And this jamming already. And, uh, and compared to, and, and to add to that, the rupees and the UPIs and Sahamatis and such, you get uh, online transactions and people during lunch are talking about 20 millisecond transactions and 30 seconds. I was wondering what the heck this all that is required for. By the time you take your purse out, count, give the money, take it back, even with a barber it takes one or one and a half, two minutes. So what is the hurry about this 30 seconds now? But that's the way the world is looking at it. And more important is how fantastically the money is debited and how fantastically it also disappears, credited and debited. So it's, it's, it's a dif different way of looking at things. The, you can see the advantages of JAM, improved financial planning in villages. I was in a village recently in somewhere in Bihar and this old lady was showing me her passbook. I could see a lot of debits there coming at various points of time, especially during certain periods of the month. I could see the happiness on the face. They were not really worried that they were taking a loan. Uh, they were feeling all the more thrilled and all the more important that somebody with a, you will see a photograph later on, somebody with a coat and suit is willing to come to a village, sit on the floor and give her, a, give her advice on how to take a loan. I think it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a total different way. At the end of the day, one has to realize India is all about Jugaad. And that's what is happening in great speed. Skill, skill in India is, is, is necessity, is, necessity is the mother of all invention, right? So you saw that, how people put that pipe on top. So like that, when, when banks are not there, when money is required, the jugad is done to get things done. I hope all of you saw that uh, video. I'll put it again if I can. I don't know. You can uh, see the video again. It's called Jugad India. And that's what is happening in the financial world also financially regard. You see that. And that, that's the way the world will continue to move forward. The, the entire thing is uh, how this uh, fintech adoption is taking place, right? It's, uh, it's really many times is cashless, faceless and also more or less paperless nowadays. I think we need to cut out some amount of minimum paperwork that is required. For example, when a guy buys a tractor or a scooter, etc., still that uh, you've got to register the vehicle, keep the registration, etc., those kind of transactions are still going on. You need paperwork and signatures, and I, one of my guys was telling me 32 signatures is required. I said, in one place you're doing totally digital, in another place you're having 32 signatures. What the heck is conky with you? Uh, I think that part of it has got to be rectified still. I, I, I guess as the world moves forward, that will also get rectified. Uh, the, it's fantastic to see this, which I was telling you how. This <laughs>
digital lending that is taking place, discovering creditworthy customers, uh, the, the risk-based pricing with market competition increasing, that will get into vogue right now. Achieving scale through automation, which is important. Uh, in L&T Finance, our people have started something and they're getting thrilled that more than 400 crores of transactions are done totally digitally without paper, etc., etc. So these are thrilling statements coming from very young people as to where this business is accelerating. When you look at acceleration and innovation, I think it's, it's to do with, uh, you'll get tons of data in this, terabytes and gigabytes of data. So I think things like AI, Gen AI, and data analytics will get into terrific prominence. And uh, this will be used to systematically look at uh, which market, uh, what loan to be given, who is to be farmed, who is to be taken forward, and stuff like that. And these are, again, endless in terms of what you can do with the consumer data with you. Uh, this is already happening in the retail and consumer space in the IT world. I guess this will also happen in the fintech world. Uh, so a little film on how l and Finance does its business is very interesting. Just take a look on a tractor loan. मेरा नाम है बेरुलाल चौधरी मैं अक्या कोट से रहने वाला है जिला रतलाम मेरा बीज भी का खेती है ये खेती करने के लिए ट्रैक्टर नहीं मिल पा रहे थे समय पे खेती नहीं होती आय में भागना पड़ता है उससे पूछना पड़ता है कि तू मांग दे ये कर दे वो कर दे ट्रैक्टर बात हुई सोता भैया और एलएन की फाइनेंस वाले से बात हुई वो घर पे आए जब से एलएन टी की डिजिटल एप्लीकेशन आई है जब से हमें प्रोसेस करने में बहुत इजी वे में प्रोसेस हो जाती है सबसे पहले हम कस्टमर के घर जाते हैं वहाँ जाने के बाद हम हमारे फेस रिकॉग्नाइजेशन से हमारी पॉपुलेशन लॉग करते हैं उसके बाद हम कस्टमर की के वगैरह लेते हैं डिजी लॉकर और एन के थ्रू उसकी के को करेक्ट है या नहीं है कैप्चर कर लेते हैं सेकेंड हम डाटा एंट्री बहुत कम है एप्लीकेशन में जिसके थ्रू एप्लीकेशन खुद डाटा उठा लेती है आधार कार्ड और पेन कार्ड के थ्रू और हमें कोई फिलअप फॉर्म फिलअप नहीं करना पड़ता है उसके बाद बैंक खाता हम सिर्फ पासबुक से ही कंफर्म कर सकते हैं कि उसका खाता लॉक तो नहीं है या खाता कोई ब्लॉक तो नहीं हुआ है एफ के टाइम पे कस्टमर का लाइव फोटो कैप्चर होता है उसके रियल टाइम लोकेशन कैप्चर हो जाती है हम फाइल हमारी क्रेडिट के बाद इंस्टेंट कस्टमर के घर से ही पहुंच जाती है और हमारे क्रेडिट सेंक्शन में बहुत कम समय लगता है पेमेंट डिसबर्समेंट के टाइम पे कस्टमर के दो प्रकार के मेंटर रजिस्ट्रेशन होते हैं एक होता है ई मेंटर रजिस्ट्रेशन और दूसरा होता है आधार बेस्ड मेंटर रजिस्ट्रेशन जिसके थ्रू कस्टमर की ईएमआई ऑन टाइम कट जाती है उसको कोई परेशानी नहीं होती है और सबसे अच्छा फायदा ये कि हम कस्टमर को उसकी फसल देखते हुए हाफ ईयरली किस्त करते हैं जिससे वो आसानी से किस्त भरने में उसको तकलीफ नहीं आती आसानी से किस्त ई एम अपने टाइम पर भर सकता है और कस्टमर को ओ के थ्रू हम डिसबर्समेंट भी कर देते हैं समय पे काम हो जाता है एल एन सी से आप लोन लो तो ये फायदा है की अच्छी कंपनी है और अपने घर बैठे काम हो जाएगा बट वॉट यू शुड नोटिस इन दैट सीक्वेंस इज दैट इज दैट great trust between the frontline person there from L&T Finance in this case and the farmer. When the farmer phones up, this guy immediately lands up in half an hour wherever he is. I think ultimately in this fintech banking world, the trust between the customer and the person is required. However digital we become, I think at the end of the day that physical presence is required, so you call it digital or whatever. But if that digital presence is not there, I don't think this works to that extent. I don't know about day after tomorrow, but today that physical presence is required. It's something which I'm quite convinced about. We also have this unique opportunity of uh, uh, an IT company within our ecosystem of LNT. Uh, IT company is called LNT, LTI Mindtree. We have the opportunity to work there throughout the globe, and uh, they, they have uh, nearly 2 billion, 1.7 odd billion billing from banking financial services and uh, the sector grows very well for us 20 percent growth and the digital revenue in that is nearly 65 percent uh, includes some cloud revenue but predominantly digital analytics revenue 
and more than 500 odd clients, most, most of the top banks and the fortune finder of the banks is very much there. Now, this gives some extraordinary solutions into, uh, into both retail and consumer loans and there's a lot of learning there for us from that and that sort of helps us to also in figuring out how to properly LTA mine tree and where it ought to be. Uh, to some of the examples, I don't know how many of you can see the slides, one of the largest global bank, uh, 100 plus country, daily transaction worth 3 trillion dollars and we have helped to digitalize their entire core banking. Lending in Nordics, a payment processor, uh, 300 plus merchants, 5 plus countries, 7 billion number of transactions. All this is not possible without digitalization. One of the largest global cards network, 44 plus countries, clearing settlement transaction time brought to 20 milliseconds. I don't know why they require that, but that's what we were asked to do and they've done it. So th these are f fantastic benchmarks to have, fantastic ways to go about uh, uh, banking and fintech. And, and I don't know, maybe next time I present it, maybe two milliseconds or something like that. That's what they'll tell me. I really don't know the meaning of that, but that, <laughs> that is that in that part of the world. The, within LNT Finance, I've had the rare opportunity of visiting some villages deep up north. Uh, of course, we were a little outclassed there wearing heavy coats and suits and tie, but uh, <laughs> I also had the opportunity with a nice dress of mine to sit on the floor to discuss with five odd ladies on how to give loan and how they're giving back the loan. And you can see our guy there sitting in the center. He's the most trusted person there. And the entire transaction he's doing through his mobile. It's a little unfortunate that many of the ladies, some of them have mobile phones, of course, but most of them do not have smartphones. Now, that is something which you have to figure out how without a smartphone to do these transactions because when you ask them, well, why don't you have a smartphone? One, they look at me as if I come from alien space and how dare I ask a question. And second, it is also a fact that the smartphones are taken away by their husbands or sons or daughters or whoever it is, and they don't have that phone to do the transaction. Uh, but uh, they were all smiling and they were all happy with that kind of uh, business-like manner, unlike a money lender in which these transactions are done. And there was unity amongst those five, six ladies. And uh, as I said, the trust factor is the person there who, who, talk, who talks their language, who listens to them, who listens to their needs, who understands them and goes about the transactions, including the KYC, all done through the mobile in his hand. There's another photo in the same place where I was talking to some of them, asking them to show their passbook. And as I said, uh, I was amazed to see quite a bit of debits, uh, sort of credits coming from their uh, family, wherever they are, husband, children. And, uh, and it, it didn't look so bad. And, uh, and one of the ladies wanted to even click a photograph of me. You can see that she's getting a mobile ready for that. And uh, here again, it's, it's another village. We're again going through the same process, including introducing some new members. And I could uh, very beautifully see how fast the proof check of that person was done, including the family background. And this is in Darbanga, Bihar, into some village there. And it's amazing to see that mobile network works, transactions can be done, KYC can be done loans can be disbursed. The only little problem is sometimes the loan is deposited in a bank like Janathan uh, bank account or even through their personalized bank account. Uh, the bank counter is still very far away, seven to eight kilometers. And I stupidly asked one of the ladies, why don't you go to the bank? She said, Saat, eight kilometer. I'm like, Kaise jaunga? Bataye. So these are still the problems that exist, but I think this will get sorted out over time as we move forward and getting into more development. This is me giving a loan to a lady. Maybe it's for the guy behind because he's securely standing behind her, but she's the one taking the loan. Uh, but having said that, that's the way the system works. Mm. So at, at, at the end of the day, I think this phenomenon called digital journey has really seriously began. And what I'm talking about is practical from our own LNT Finance where they are very hands-on going about it. And it's really fascinating to see the story. I think my time is up, but give me a few more uh, seconds on it. Some of the improvements I thought about, I think uh, that the world is moving from lack of transparency to uh, digital banking, which I believe is clean and, 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 and as far as possible, heavily uh, transparent uh, from financial illiteracy to financial literacy. People understand it. People are able to understand credit, debit, and how to go about it. And excessive wait time to instant approvals. These are rapid and fantastic changes that are taking place across the country. And I'm not talking about urban finance, I'm talking about rural finance. But you know, in urban situation, are you, what's that, what's this lovely lady here, 
these kind of things still exist. Watch it, watch it. So a trust factor has to come in, as I said, <laughs> that is the key for transactions at the end of the day. This maybe exists a little more in urban areas, a little less in rural areas. In rural areas, of course, they can box you down and take all the money from you. That's a different matter. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a David-Goliath kind of battle. And uh, neither the David is going to give up, nor the Goliath is going to go down. The banks will exist. <laughs> So, you know, the banks will fall down a bit, they won't disappear. The David is 9,900, maybe 20,000 next time will continue to go up. So, it is that boxing will go on. Finally, uh, the guy is anger, he'll win someday. And that's the way the world will ought to be. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, terrifically, thank you for having me out here. And a non finance guy talking about finance, but a little bit knows about engineering. So, engineering to finance, a little bit I spoke about. Pleasure to have been here in this lovely auditorium. And great to have spoken in front of you. Uh, and uh, most important, that I think I should thank the organizers, the, the NPCI, the Payment Council, and the Global FinTech Fest, which have organized this uh, beautiful program where I believe more than 50, 60,000 people are taking part. Amazing. And to all the young entrepreneurs who are doing this FinTech, the very best. Good luck and God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Subramanian, for that exceedingly inventive, ingenious, and highly original presentation, actually showcasing the real-time impact. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to explore and unravel another intriguing topic in the realm of fintech, which is investing in India's future perspectives from industry leaders on shaping the financial landscape and to set the context of our keynote speaker.